Greetings everyone, Rackender here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, got a new Legends of Runeterra video. For today's video, we're going to be exploring a concept, a deck concept that I have been uh, fairly interested in um, ever since Bilgewater came out, but I just never had all of the cards to complete it, and I didn't really uh, play enough to kind of grind together those cards uh, earlier on. And that deck concept is the Keg Control archetype. Uh, so... Keg Control is one of my uh, one of the archetypes that I'm most interested in because I feel like it's one of the most skillful, uh, skill intensive uh, decks to play. Not only play as, but also play against. Uh, the kegs are, in my opinion, one of the most uh, kind of one of the the best mechanics that they've introduced with the Bilgewater uh, expansion as they are a a, a concept that in, uh, adds a lot of interaction and incentivizes a lot of interaction between both opponents. Uh, basically what the kegs do, if you don't uh, if you're not familiar with them, is basically every uh, these are uh, cards that uh, well these are units that get summoned onto the field from other means. you can't play them in your deck. Uh, and basically, these kegs will power up all of your damage-based cards uh, or skills if they're from a champion. So your things such as Make It Rain, things such as Vile Feast, will gain a damage boost. If you have one keg on the field, this will deal two damage, two kegs, three damage, etc., etc., allowing you to basically turn this into a Mystic Shot, which can be pretty uh, scary for your opponent. And then you also have things like Gangplank. Uh, when he is leveled up, he will activate his Powderful Explosion, dealing one damage to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. Uh, this uh, that uh, skill will also gain uh, a boost from the ca uh, Powder Keg, damaging by two instead of one. Uh, and it's a really fascinating concept because even though your Vile Feast becomes a Mystic Shot, your opponent can interact with your Keg. In order to try and prevent it from becoming a better mystic shot uh, or you know your make it rain becoming a better uh you know removal tool or one of the best ones withering whale with a uh keg on the board would deal two to all enemies which is a lot stronger than the, the single damage one so there's a lot of really cool like power or uh, boosting abilities that the keg can provide for the removal cards that's one of the reasons we're in shadow isles because they have some of the best uh damage based removal uh, in the game they also have some of the best healing in the game which if we are applying the kegs to things like vile feast the drain applies to the healing as well so not only do you deal two damage you heal two damage which allows you uh to potentially stall out the games a little bit uh, longer and allow you to get to your end game goal of a leveled up uh, gangplank. Um, but yeah, they really provide this very interactive uh, back and forth between you and your opponent, and you have to like really play your cards uh, uh, well in order to allow yourself that ability to. Um, Yeah, in order to allow yourself that ability to actually take advantage of the powder keg because your opponent can you know vile feast the powder keg your opponent can also uh target it at, with one of their units as it does have vulnerable so if you play this incorrectly with uh without the ability to activate it your opponent could just challenge it and remove it from the field which i, I feel like that adds a lot of uh depth and interesting like tactics back and forth between uh the opponent and whatnot and personally i think it's one of the um better mechanics in the game that incentivizes that interaction so let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the deck as we do have a few other tools here uh, like i mentioned earlier gangplank is one of our win conditions and we are going to use thresh to make that more consistent we want thresh to be able to pull our gangplank from our deck so that we can take advantage of that we also have monkey idol as one of our more uh, as one of our synergy units with those two cards as this thing will generate a lot of uh, level up 
uh, kind of procs for both of these units. The Thresh will take a lot of get a lot of advantage out of the dying monkeys and the idol itself when it dies, and then Gangplank will also get a lot of advantage out of the counter monkeys dealing damage to the enemy nexus on each round. Uh, and then the, the end game goal is to summon a Gangplank or two, blast your opponent with his ability, and overwhelm them, and then maybe finish off with a Riptide Rex to just barrage your opponent with a finishing blow. Uh, and that's pretty much the rest of the deck. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the greatest right now. We are in a very fast-paced, elusive meta. And as you can imagine, with elusives, it kind of sucks. Uh, elusives are very powerful. They have a lot of ways to buff them right now. And it is a, it's pretty frustrating, not going to lie. Elusives are very annoying to play against. And this deck has kind of fallen behind in the ability to deal with them effectively. Uh, we, like, we're running a lot of small damage pings like Parlay, which uh, are easily uh, kind of avoided through things like Elixir of Iron or uh, Fury of the North. Um, a lot of our, uh, additionally, a lot of our pings are kind of reliant on the barrels to deal with some of those stronger buffs. So we can get rushed down pretty quickly, and it's not a good time if that happens. But we're going to jump off of here, try to get a couple of fun games in uh, for today's video. Like I mentioned, uh, I think I mentioned it. I've tried to record this video a few times already. <laughs> um, our games haven't gone quite as planned uh, for some of them. And one of the unfortunate aspects of trying to do live gameplay commentary is there's no editing involved. So I can't just get rid of the games that aren't really that interesting. Uh, or the games that I just tilt, because that's a couple, been a couple of them. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into some games here, try to get those in. Uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, if you're uh, enjoying the video, make sure you leave a like at the end of it, because that will uh, greatly help out the channel. The YouTube algorithm likes it when you press its buttons, and so it really helps the channel out quite a lot. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, two of which are always Legends of Runeterra. The Sunday is more of a flexible pick in case I play other card games. Uh, right now, mostly just Yu-Gi-Oh! content, because that's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in particular, because that's the other card game that I've mostly been interested in. But if I you know, ever so choose to play another card game, that's where that will happen. But it, it's also just been Runeterra as well, so it's not like I won't just upload three Runeterra videos a week. Uh, but yeah, be sure to do... Uh, do that if you're enjoying the content. Let me know in the comments as well. Uh, do you enjoy live gameplay commentary? I'm going to go ahead and press play here when we can talk about it. Because um, I know a lot of the, you know, Runeterra videos that I've seen, they've often been in the edited fashion. So I'm just kind of curious if you enjoy live any of the live gameplay commentary. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. So, as I mentioned... Zed Elusives. Uh, Freljord with Elusive cards is kind of disgusting, so we're going to get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, and keep the deck hand hope for our spells. That's a good spell. <clears throat> this will help out against the Zed, hopefully. We're going to make a pass. And they always, always, always have that turn one Omen Hot. He's got the... I'm actually... Man, the Zed is just such a big card. But I'm going to go ahead and play the Make It Rain now. Because this is a really annoying card to deal with. It's an elus elusive 2-1 one, one drop. And a, a lot of these elusive decks can really com uh, combo off of that. So let's see. We don't... We have two Powder Monkeys, which isn't ideal. I think we're going to play this for a uh, follower. Okay, so... He's going to actually make that trade. That's okay. We have another one here. Really hoping we can get maybe an Elusive off of this. That would be kind of ideal right now. Alright, we have Thresh. So let's see what, we, what our opponent gives us. Okay, Shadow Assassin. So that's a pretty high mana play, so I think we're kind of safe playing Monkey Idol. I'm okay with this. Uh, 
As I said, man, this card is so annoying to deal with. It's a one mana... Like, it's only for this round, but... The way that the elusives play, like, you just get so much value out of that. I hate this card. Alright, so there's the Powder Monkey. We're gonna go ahead. I play my Thresh. The other annoying thing about playing the uh, Kinko Elusive deck is they actually are in Ionia, so they can play, you guessed it, Will of Ionia. Alright. First step's the hardest. That sucks. I, I have to go for this. I just hope he doesn't have. Okay, Fury of the North. I hate that card. Maybe I shouldn't have went for that. I don't know. Everything's better with company. Everything's better with company. All right. Yep, and this is this is this is the exact stuff that just happens, man. It's so so infuriating. Um, I'm gonna play this. Yeah. Like, look at this fucking swing, dude. That's ridiculous. That is actually kind of ridiculous. There's another Thresh. I will play my part. He's just gonna swing in for a ton of fucking damage. And we pass. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Can we can we stabilize? Ooh, 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 ooh. That is actually perfect. That is perfect. I don't know if I should get greedy with it. He has Will of Ionia. It's pretty annoying. He has another Fury of the North. That's actually kind of annoying. Ooh. So that, so these guys will lose two. I think what I'll do is I'll attack you. Charge? They'll lose two. We'll be done. Okay, I'm actually, I should have attacked with this. I want him to block. That's what. It's all right. Okay. This is it.
And you just play as the elusives. As always. Because of course. Of course. Man. That's kind of what I was... Part of what I was uh, describing. We're, we're not gonna... I'm, I'm, I've already tried to record this. We'll take that L. We'll, we'll hold it. We'll, we'll calm. Get ourselves back into Zen. Heart of the cards. That's kind of why I've been... I've been trying to record this for a few times because uh, there's been a... You know... The tilt that happens from the <laughs> elusives. Oh my god. Because like, everyone's playing. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this, this particular deck. There we go. Alright. Let's try to make this... Try to make this happen. Because they always just hard, like you just always mulligan for Omen Hawk, and then you just carve out and you win. Like that's just how this deck operates. So you gotta accept that. We'll, we'll play. All right, we'll pass here. No Omen Hawk. No turn one Omen Hawk. It's a miracle. We might actually be on to something here. The Yordle here is with me. Go ahead and just parlay this. There's there's an elixir. There's an elixir out of the way. Let's move. I whipped up something special. Go ahead and grab this. Three mana. Got a surprise for I think we just open attack. He doesn't want this trade. Elusives don't trade. <laughs> they just go face. They don't trade. Unless they have like a damage removal. Or a HP buffing. So like if he has a twin disciplines here and he wants to use that to not take two damage. Which is pretty rare because uh, he wants to use that to stop me from dealing damage. Yo, fuck yeah. That's a trade. That's a trade, man. I'll take it. Now he's gonna play Zed. There we go. There we go. We're looking a lot better here. Healed up too. As we mentioned in the... I think we mentioned it this attempt of recording. Uh, the drain effect does apply to the healing as well, so we actually healed up for two. Bring us back to full HP and making things a lot better. I'd love to see a Thresh for my Gangplank. We have a lot of our earlier drops here, but... Pick the wrong rogue. Um, could play the powder monkey. I think I want to play the deck hand. Or this. I'm gonna we'll play the deck hand. Right. Got another keg. Question though, do I do I just make it rain? Yeah. 
Oh, what? I don't, I don't like that. I'm gonna go, go ahead and glimpse. Yeah. Well, now we just make it rain. Well, let's go. I activate to make it rain. Randomly selecting three targets, but there's only two, so I know exactly what they'll be. Uh, what they'll select. No monsters on your board, or units on your board, I shall attack. Everyone here? Let's go. Ouch, that's gonna be uh, one hell of a unit that gets buffed. Not a bad play. I will go for my monkey idol. Each round it will damage itself to summon a powder monkey. And then I'll also play Glimpse Beyond. By killing my spiderling I can draw two more cards. Yeah, we need to we need to get rid of these. Like like while we're in a situation where our opponent can't like rush us down, we need to play the glimpses. Cuz these are useless if we're in a spot where he can uh, start rushing us. Ooh, I like that. I draw. Fantastic top, top deck. Without a sound. Out of sound. Got, he's got a vengeance mana. I will play Thresh. My champion of choice. The harbinger of death. Going for the will of Ionia. Okay, well I'm glad to get that out of him. Get the drop on him! So we're gonna do this, we'll take the five, and then I also play Glimpse Beyond, killing my Powder Monkey, and allowing me to draw two more cards. Oh, there we go. We got Zap, we got Riptide. I just go for the Thresh this turn. I'd really like some spells. I think we have to go for Thresh. I need to challenge a Zed. I play my Thresh. Ouch. I will challenge your omen hawk. That's three Omenhawk buffs and a shared spoils. That's wild. So the... I had to go for... I couldn't risk... Step like that. What the actual fuck? Come on. We'll do this. I've whipped up something special. Jesus Christ. Holy crap, dude, that's so much. Wow, he literally top deck. The best card you can have. Make it rain. We only have enough for vengeance. Strike for the balance. Remember the plan!
He has enough to deny. Which kind of sucks. I wish I had... Should I have tried to bank mana for the Riptide? I mean, Riptide Rex wouldn't even end this. Because it's only seven times. Alright, so we have... We can win this. Clear off. You got legs. Use them. Nobody escapes. Alright, the thresh levels up. Precisely what we need. Huge hits. Gangplank levels up. Alright. Grasp. What's better? Gangplank? I think the Riptide. Can we can we end it? We might have to end it this turn. I think we go for the open attack. Oh, it's coming down to the wire. I attack with my Thresh. And his ability will summon Gangplank from my deck. Water is mine and mine alone. So fire our cannon and barrage you. Dead men tell my tale. Off with ye! Gangplank, attack! Powerful explosion clears your field. Extra hands never hurt. Next comes the finisher, Riptide Rex, Cannon Barrage. Annihilate these pathetic elusives. They can't stand to the might of the Pirate King. This will do for now. Alright, holy moly. That was. I was scared. That was certainly scary. Alright. Go for one more game. That is the other one of the other issues when trying to do live gameplay commentary. These games are so long sometimes that if you make if you make like one little kind of mess up and you don't do things properly, then you can lose a lot of footage. But all right, so final match. We drop that. I think we're gonna keep this hand. Um, so Shadow Isles, Darius, with LDs. This is another aggro deck, another variant that's been running around. Uh, I mean, Make It Rain might actually kind of suck because they could have the Crimson Disciple. I don't know. It's kind of rough, though. I think we'll just drop the Rex, though. Two Make It Rain. Early game. Yeah, they're gonna swarm. 
Swarm, swarm, swarm. That's the name of the game. Very similar to the elusives, but at least this one, these ones we can actually block. <laughs> like, we can actually block these ones, which is kind of, you know, kind of important. There's the powder monkey. So I think we'll, um... I wouldn't mind banking make it rain mana. If he has another one drop, we can play it and get a pretty good value on it. Okay. I'm okay with that. We can play this. I want to play the Petty Officer over this one so we can block the Crimson Disciple. Or that thing. Hmm. Do I want to... Because we make it rain, we'll kill the spider without it. So we'll just summon a unit. Ooh, nice. He has transfusion. Right. Where's the artillery? Trying to I wanna bait stuff out from him. We've got another ballista. Which makes this that much better. Do I go for the follower? I feel like I need blockers. If you work, burn if you don't. Okay. <laughs> That's not the follower I was hoping for, but I'll take it. This might we might be playing a little bit too slow. Okay, there we go. Alright, 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 alright. All right. So do this. Yep, he's gonna play the. I go for that. I go for this. He's he's gotta have like something here. Can we hope that he doesn't have transfusion? Ooh, all right, all right. That doesn't kill him, so we actually get the full drain. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool with that. Zap spray fin. Now we can start establishing... And he does have uh, Darius possibly lined up. He's gonna play the probably the spell again that will kill this to deal damage to me. And I think I'll respond with the make it rain. I think I do want to deny another damage proc. Hmm. So you let it go through. I'm curious what he's. Explosives prime. He's probably got Darius. So let's see. We have to we have to think mana wise here. We have to really consider our mana. Do I need the two spell mana? I don't think I do. So I want to prevent as much damage as possible. Alright, so I play Make It Rain. Kill your units. He's gonna drop the Darius. Parlay. Okay. 
He's in, he's dropping. He's like 100% dropping Darius. Can I risk? So how much? So so what's going on? We have two out of two out of six. I mean, we have to kill the precious pet, right? I think we just let Darius die. I think we just let. Yeah, we, we're not Darius. We let Thresh die. Like that's got to be it. There's no. Way. I wish we could block with the uh, monkey idol. That would be so nice. Best run while you can. Yep. Yeah. It was bad, man. He's. May oh, we should have saved the make it rain. Okay, never mind. We're good. Oh man, this is uh, rough. Because if he has. The card that like deals damage to the uh, to this guy. No! Ah, oh, damn. I didn't think about fucking burst speed transfusion. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Ah, oh, man. This fucking meta is so ridiculous. Alright, well. I've been trying to record a video for a little while now, so we're just going to end it here. I know we didn't get a ton of great games. We had a, we had a cup we had a win though, but and I feel like I played them fairly well as mu as best as I possibly could. Uh but for now, we're just kind of in a spot where this deck is just not fast enough to really keep up with the forms of aggro that are going around right now. Games are ending way too soon. Decimates, just a disgustingly good card. Uh, elusives are ridiculous. Like everything's just kind of, kind of perfectly against the keg control deck, which is really sad to me because I think this, like, if this deck is a good deck, it's a healthy deck, right? Like you're always, I, I don't know. I, I rarely feel when I play keg control that my opponents like just kind of lucked out right they they play their cards well they know what they're doing uh and i really think uh, i personally would like decks like this to be more than the more of the norm and meta but alas it's not so that's gonna be it and wrap it up for today's video i guess i i will mind it you know there was some minor tilt going going around from the constant burn and elusive stuff, but hopefully I kept my cool most for the most part. And uh, but for the next uh, video, I will be streaming uh, the, most of the gameplay on Thursday for that for the next video on uh, for the next for Friday's video. Uh, 
and we'll be doing a new deck that's basic, uh, fairly similar to this one, but a stronger control version that has recently emerged. Uh, so uh, we'll be we'll be messing around with that deck um, and hopefully be able to crush all the pathetic burn aggro players that are just speed running <laughs> speed running ranked apparently because I mean. Eh. It's probably not... I, I would play them, honestly. But I feel like the matchups are too... Too similar. And I, I, I'm not a fan of mirror matches, which is one of the reasons I like to find strategies that don't uh, kind of advocate to tier 1 and whatnot. So, but yeah, Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here for the end of the video. Be sure to tune in for Friday's video. It'll be a new deck. And hopefully one that better competes with what's going on. Uh, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.